guys, Derek here from Warcry Adventures. Uh, behind me is the uh, Parks Canada compound, and this is where I'm going to be starting Mount Crandall. And I'm going to be cutting through this kind of dry grass field and then up into the gully or the drainage. up here to the summit so uh, yeah I went to the visitor center asked and got as much information as I could and now I'm just ready to ascend Mount Crandall was named after a Calgarian actually who uh, found a very short-lived uh, oil seep in the creek or near the creek and uh, so that's why they named this Mount Crandall but anyway Time to pack up and get the heck out of here. So I'll see you on the trail. Yeah, as you can see, this is the Waterton Lakes area. The uh, Parks Canada compound. And I'm just coming up the hill and I'm heading towards in the valley. Yeah, this area was just decimated by forest fire. It's crazy. Holy. There's Waterton, there's that Prince of Wales hotel slash restaurant slash gift shop slash lookout. <laughs> I'm camped just outside the park over there a little ways. following this ridge. That's what it says to do. If you come up to the first scrambling section. Yeah, this trail's pretty steep. There's lots of goat trails, so just gotta be really mindful of where you're following these beaten down paths, just cause I can't, I don't know for sure if they're man-made or goat, but uh, Don't want to get lost or end up at a cliff. So my rule is stop, think, and look. Holy cow, that was hard. But Look at me view. There's the summit up there. Just continuing to follow the trail. 
getting windy though. I would hate to see what the other, the hard route is. Oh my God. Well guys, I'm so close to the summit. Maybe another 20 minutes. And uh, I'm starting to get clouded out. But, find my descent route down because it's different than the way it came up. I'm really close to the summit. It's just up here. The only thing I'm concerned about is finding that other descent route down. It's my biggest concern because I can't see where the ridge line goes over there. And I really don't want to take the same way down because there's some sketchy scrambling there. Extraordinary. Well, guys, I don't think this cloud coverage is going to go away anytime soon, and I'm not sure what it's going to bring in, so I think I'm going to head down and get off this mountain because I know it's going to take me some time because I can't see. So, that way is Waterton. <laughs> so, um, yeah, kind of a bummer, but safety first, so I'll see you on the way down. It's definitely not the way I wanted to come down. It's very difficult and sketchy. But I just got to follow the ridge. Follow the ridge. All So guys, I'm heading down now. 
I couldn't see anything at the top. The cloud coverage was just relentless. Um, there's an easier route that goes all along the ridge and kind of wraps around on the other side of this drainage. But I just couldn't see where it started up there. And I know that going up that side is the, uh, is the bear's hump route, which is like hard scrambling. So I just don't want to take the wrong route and end up in some hairy situation. <laughs> yeah, boy. I only have one more kind of sketchy scramble part down and then that's it and then I'm good so I feel pretty comfortable now guys I made it to my car it's starting to rain I'm really glad I made the call to come back the way I, I went up and I was able to come down in a reasonable amount of time and have a, a safe descent and now I'm just gonna get the hell out of the rain and I don't really know but anyway I'll see you next hike adios